Okay guys, here at the Tropicana and they are gonna close April 2nd. So I thought I'd come on over here and get a last walkthrough in this place because this is it. This is gonna be the last of the last, but yeah, this place is gonna get demolished for a baseball stadium. So they got a tower over here, another tower over there. And uh, let's go take a look. So the Tropicana was conceived by Ben Jaffe, part owner of the Fountain Blue Hotel in Miami. The $15 million Tropicana opened April 4th, 1957, as the most expensive Las Vegas resort developed at that point. The Tropicana included 44,000 square feet of casino space and 1,467 rooms. The hotel originally opened with low-rise structures containing 300 rooms. And the property would later launch several expansions, including two hotel towers added in 1979 and 1986. The latter tower was uh, accompanied by the introduction of an island themed for the property. The Tropicana has been host to several live entertainment, including the topless showgirl review known as the Follies Berkshire. It ended in 2009 after nearly 50 years and remains the longest running show in Las Vegas history. The Tropicana underwent numerous ownership changes throughout its history. Mob connections were present at the time of its opening and an FBI investigation in 1979 uncovered a skimming operation at the resort. It was sold a year later to Ramada Inn which later transferred ownership to its spin-off company, Aztar Corporation, in 1989. During the 2000s, Aztar considered demolishing the Tropicana for development of a new resort. Although this did not come to fruition, Columbia Sussex bought the resort in 2007, but lost it to bankruptcy two years later with Onyx Corporation emerging as its new owner. Onyx launched a $180 million renovation, the property's first since 1986. The project was completed in 2011 and added a South Beach theme. Penn National Gaming bought the Tropicana in 2015 before selling it to Bally's in 2022. And up to this point a year later, the Oakland A's reached an agreement with Bally's to permanently shut down and demolish the Tropicana, making way for two projects, a baseball stadium on nine acres of the site, and a new resort bearing the Bally's name on the remaining land. The Tropicana is scheduled to close April 2nd, 2024, and is expected to be demolished by the end of the year in October. Get ready for a new Las Vegas stadium. Okay, so we're going to do a casino walkthrough. As you can see, I'm kind of meandering about already. This is my experience with this place. Um, this is my final walkthrough, basically. I don't know a whole lot of of history about the Tropicana. What I got was I just gleaned off of uh, the Wikipedia kind of stuff and just, um, you know, got some info from there. Just real basic stuff, nothing special. I'm sure this place is just, it had its heyday probably back early on. on and this is really, this property is way before my time, so I'm not you know, 100% on a lot of things here. But um, I did have a nice little black and white photo thing that you had no access to. Uh, <laughs> and then the steakhouse next door, that actually was a good steakhouse. I have eaten there before. Uh, Tiffany and I have eaten there with uh, family members, her side of the family, uh, Dennis, uh, and I forgot the other, Frank, Dennis and Frank. Uh, Joe didn't join us. Joe skipped out a year. But anyways, it's usually Dennis, Frank, and Joe. They all come to Vegas to gamble and have a good time, and they meet up with us. And we ate at the steakhouse. It was really nice. And so we're just making our way through here. I uh, see the ceiling fans in the hall, kind of the corridor area of this thing, which I think was really interesting. Get the air circulating through there. Here's one of the back pool areas or loungy areas. It looks like one of the originals. And if we go up to the other side, it's kind of the new area where they had the tropical kind of themed out tiki thing going on. Which, it's nice. Um, 
So all this stuff's going to go. I mean, they're going to just demolish this thing. And then they, they set it for October because they have to liquidate everything out of the rooms. All, every piece of furniture, plants, everything that they can get out of there, they're going to liquidate. And Bally's is not in the most favorable financial position uh, as of, as of uh, recent. Uh, but maybe things will change once they get this stadium going here. The Oakland A's will be coming here, and not a whole lot of the locals are very happy about this deal at all, especially the location that they're going to put it at is here. They could have just demolished this and put an, a new property up um, in a parking structure. Uh, will they have a parking structure for the stadium? I don't know. I have no idea. So they have nine acres to deal with. And then they also have, an, Bally's wants to put a hotel structure there as well. So I'm making my way to the conference center on the foot intel of what it's like to go past here. I didn't go too far. I didn't get too far. I didn't want to roam around too far because there's really no, nobody there. A few people here and there having some meetings. But I don't want to go through and, and check all this stuff out because it's going to get demolished. What's the point? They had a nice cafe over here, which is uh, decent. At least you can get some coffee. But I felt like this place was just old. It was very dated. I felt like something out of the 70s or maybe earlier, 60s. So it was really, uh, I'm kind of glad they're getting rid of this. Because you can, in some areas in this place, you could touch the ceilings especially around the casino area part. <laughs> I mean, it's like, what's going on here? Who designed this? I'm guessing back in the early days, they probably had some design struggles with some engineers, and they said, screw it, we'll just do eight-foot ceilings. Who needs 10-foot? There's no one that tall here. I guess people back then were short, much shorter. Uh, so this back area here is sort of an, uh, some more meeting areas. Uh, I just kind of poked around a little bit. Nothing special. I did use the restroom, so that was good. At least they had something down there that was usable. And it was very nice. It was very clean, so kudos to the Tropicana. And uh, the employees that will be leaving there will be moving to other MGM uh, probably properties or employment somewhere else. So I don't think they have anything to worry about. As with most employees, they kind of shift around uh, when things like this happens. <clears throat> so let's step outside and see what is going on out here. Looks like a little loungy outdoor uh, coffee thing, but I didn't spend too much time out there. I just kind of poked around. Back to the casino floor. Again, look how low the ceiling is. I guess people back then were short, much shorter. Now this uh, glass design up here with this uh, curvature, I don't even know what you call this. I guess they're gonna try and keep that for the stadium or some parts of the other ho adjacent hotel that's connecting it. So Bally's wants to build. Some sort of hotel near this stadium. Not sure what part of it or what's going on. They don't even have a sketch up. So this whole thing just really is, you know, too soon to tell what's going on. There's no s solidified sketch ups of anything. So I think it'll change as things uh, progress here. Just like this property here. They must have did it in sections. That's why it's all really not you know, symmetrical at all. And most places aren't, but this one's like low ceilings, high ceilings, medium ceiling, you know, that kind of thing. The theater I couldn't get back to. I couldn't poke around in there, but I just... By the way, that Tropicana theater sign, that's up for auction. A lot of things are up for auction here, so that's a, that's a good thing. I guess if you want some of this stuff, you got to go to this website. Uh, there's an auction place, but if if you uh, type in Tropicana auction, I'm sure it's going to pop up on Google or whatever. 
you want to use. Laugh Factory, who knows what's going to go on with that. Those comedians will move somewhere else. But this is the last look of this beautiful stained glass archway, I guess you would call it. And it's been there for quite a while. And it looks cool. Everything just looks uh, very dated here. This is, they try to do a modern look over here with a... Just look how low the ceilings are. It's just hideous. I'm glad they're... Actually, I'm glad they're going to demolish this because it, it's probably made of asbestos anyway. So that's it. That's, that's the... Uh, look, at they're missing some glass over there. No big deal. <laughs> you know... Oh my gosh, Tropicana, it's been real, it's been real interesting. Uh, I've never stayed here, and I never will, but that's it for this. Imagine a baseball stadium, I don't know how they're going to do this, what direction the home plate's going to face, hopefully not west, so it's burning your eyes out. Um, hopefully there's plentiful cover for people when they stay there. So you guys, I don't have very many memories of this place. I never stayed here. Maybe you do, leave a comment below. But imagine this place, this property now is gonna be a baseball stadium. So they're already prepping to destroy and dismantle everything slowly. And uh, you'll have to look out I don't even know which way home plate is going to face or anything, but I'm sure that news will come out soon enough. But say goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye to this place because it's out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheerio.